In this video, we'll be talking about how to find displacement from velocity time graph. So here I have a velocity time graph of a body with a uniform motion that is with a uniform velocity throughout and this velocity time graph is parallel to the time axis which shows that the body is moving with the same velocity throughout its motion. Now let's say we want to find the displacement of this body at this point that is the point B. The first step for that will be to drop a perpendicular from the point B to the time axis like this. Now let's say the point where the perpendicular touches the x axis be the point C. Now we know that the velocity is given by the formula that is displacement by time taken and here we need to find the displacement. So we'll be, uh, we'll be figuring out what the displacement is from this formula. So this displacement will be equal to velocity multiplied by time taken. So if we want to find the displacement, we need to find what, what is the velocity and the time taken first of all. So at this point that is at, at point B, we need to know what is the value of velocity with which the body was traveling and what is the time that the body has taken to reach to point B. Only then we, we can go ahead and find the displacement of the body at point B. So let us do that. So here we know that uh, the velocity of the body is 30 meters per second throughout its journey. That is this length gives us the velocity of the body. So which is found to be 30 meters per second from this velocity time graph. And even from the graph we can figure out what, the, what was the time taken by the body to reach point B. That is uh, the time taken is given by the length of OC here which seems to be 5 seconds. So we have found the velocity at point B to be 30 meters per second and the time taken by the body to reach point B was found to be 5 seconds. Now we have both the values that is the value of velocity as well as the time taken. So we can go ahead and find out what is the displacement of the body at point B. So displacement will be uh, the velocity multiplied by time taken which is 5 multiplied by 30 that is 150 meters. So the displacement of the body at point B was found to be 150 meters. Now how did we find the, uh, the displacement of the body here? We multiplied the length BC by the length AB of this rectangular figure in the graph. So what we did is we multiplied AB with BC. Now AB into BC is nothing but the area of this rectangle which is OABC that is the displacement is given by the area of the rectangle OABC. Now from here we can say that whenever we want to find the displacement of a body from a velocity time graph we can calculate the area under the curve. That is, that is what we have done here. So, we have calculated the area under the, the graph AB under which we need to find the displacement. So, what we have done is, what we have found out is the displacement is given by the area under the graph. That is area under the VT graph for uniform motion. Okay. Now, let us take the same graph. Here I have taken the same graph. Now the thing is we want to calculate the displacement of this body from 2 seconds to 6 seconds as per the question here. Now here we are not finding out the displacement of the body from 0 to some time instant but we are finding somewhere in the middle that is from 2 to 6 seconds. So for that what we will do is First of all to mark the points from 2 to 6 seconds on the VT graph of the body which is this that is the point A and point B. So we need to do one thing that is we need to find the displacement of the body from point A to point B. So our first step will be the same that is to drop the perpendiculars from these two point, points A and B to the time axis like this. 
and these two perpendicular uh, perpendiculars from points A and B touch the x axis at D and C respectively let's say. Now the area of this rectangle that is A, B, C, D gives us the value of displacement covered by the body from point A to point B. Now let us use that notion to find out the displacement covered by the body. So the displacement is given by the area under the graph that is area under AB which is given by the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D and we know the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle which is length into breadth that is AB into AB into BC. Now AB is exactly equal to DC since they are parallel sides of a rectangle which are supposed to be equal. So in place of AB we can write DC so the formula becomes DC multiplied by BC. Now here DC is given by total OC minus OD when we subtract OD from OC we get the value of DC or the length of DC. Now OC as we can see here is 6 seconds and OD seems to be 2 seconds clearly from this graph. So DC will be equal to OC that is 6 minus OD which is 2. So DC equals 6 minus 2 which is 4 seconds. So DC equals 4 seconds and velocity of the body at point points A and B is clearly mentioned here in the graph that is 30 meters per second which is constant throughout the motion of the body. So the value of velocity is given by this length that is BC and this is found to be 30 meters per second. So with this information we can find out what the displacement is or what the area under the graph is. So the area equals 6 minus 2 multiplied by 30 which is 4 multiplied by 30 and this equals 120 meters. So the displacement covered by the body from point A to point B is 120 meters. Now let's say we have a velocity time graph which is this. Now here the velocity of the body is not constant or the body is not in uniform motion but here the acceleration of the body is constant that is the body is moving with a uniform acceleration. Now here let's say we want to find the displacement of the body from the initial point to point B that is here. The first step here will be the same that is to drop a perpendicular from point B to the x axis or the time axis like this and we will name it as A the point where uh, this perpendicular touches the time axis we will name that point as A. Now even here the uh, displacement will be given by the area under the graph A the area under the graph OB which is this particular area. Now here we will be drawing one perpendicular from point B to Y axis and this will let us know what is the value of velocity at point B. Now we know that the displacement is the area under the graph which is area under OB that is this shaded region of this graph that is the gray colored region in this graph. Now this area is equal to the area of the triangle OAOAB and we know that the area of the triangle the formula of the area of the triangle is half into base into height. So here the base of the triangle is given by OA and the height of the triangle is given by the length AB. So we will put the formula here which gives half into OA into AB. So here we need to know what is OA and AB in order to find the displacement covered by the body. So here OA is clearly seen that is uh, the length of OA is 6 seconds and the velocity here which is given by the length AB is 30 meters per second. So on putting this value here in the formula we get half into 6 into 30 which is 19 meters. So the displacement covered by the body at the end of 6 seconds that is at point B 
is 90 meters. Now we will take the same graph and at this time we will be finding the displacement of the body somewhere in between that is from 3 seconds to 7 seconds as mentioned here above. Now for that we will be taking the points here on the graph which represent 3 seconds and 7 seconds that is point A and point B and we will follow the same procedure that is first of all we will be dropping perpendiculars from points A and B to the time axis like this and name these two points where these perpendiculars touch the x axis as D and C respectively. Now what do you think will be the displacement of the body from point A to B? Yes, it is the area of this whole figure that is A, B, C, D. So this whole area represents the displacement of the body uh, from point A to point B. Now let us make some necessary constructions. We will be drawing again two perpendiculars from points A and B to Y axis like this. Now this will help us to know what are the values of the velocities at points A and B which is given by the values in the y axis. Now again let us extend this to join BC in the backward direction like this and we will name this point as E. This construction we have done in order to find the area of this whole I mean the area of ABCD. Now we will go for the calculations. So this is the area which will give us the displacement of the body from point A to B. Now here we know that the displacement is given by the area that is the area of the shaded region and this area is divided into two parts that is the first, first part is a triangle and the second part is a rectangle and now when we add up these two areas we will be getting the area of the full figure that is that is what will give us the value of the displacement here. So here the triangle is triangle ABE and the rectangle is ADCE. So we need to add both the areas to arrive at the displacement. Now we know that the area of the triangle is half into base into height and here the base of this triangle is given by AE and the height is given by BE. And the area of the rectangle is given by the formula length into breadth. Here the length is um, DC or AE whatever is the case. These are equal and the breadth is AD. So let us put all these values. So displacement equals half into AE into BE which is the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle ADCE is AD into DC. Now, we will find out what these values are. Now AE is exactly equal to DC, right? So we will put that. So our displacement becomes half into DC into BE plus AD into DC. Now we will find out the values of DC, BE, AD to, to put in this expression and which will give us the displacement. So here DC here uh, DC is represented by this length. Now from the graph it is very clear that DC will be equal to OD subtracted from OC. So OC minus OD gives us DC. So let us substitute that and we also have BE here. BE is given by the whole BC minus EC. So when EC is subtracted from BC, we get BE from the figure. So let's put those things here. So our uh, formula transforms to half into OC minus OD, which is the DC, multiplied by BC minus EC, which is BE, plus AD remains the same into OC minus OD, which gives us DC. Now here it, it, it has become simple for us so because we know all the values it is easy for us to find all these values. So let us try to do that. We see that OC, OC is 7 seconds and OD is 3 seconds from the graph it is clearly visible and the values of BC, BC is 35 meters per second and the value of EC, 
is given by 15 meters per second as is apparent from this graph. So let us put all these values here. So our displacement will be equal to half multiplied by 7 minus 3 into 35 minus 15 plus 15 multiplied by 7 minus 3. So this yields half into 4 into 20 plus 15 into 4 which equals 40 plus 60 that is 100 meters. So our displacement here from A to B was found to be 100 meters. So this is how we find out the displacement from a velocity time graph and I hope this video was fully understandable for you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.